look at how to move songs from your iTunes library to your MP3 player. Uh, first thing you probably want to do is in, in um, when you open up iTunes is to uh, click the option with Windows in the top right corner that lets you size it so that you're sizing it so it's less than the size of your monitor. And the second thing you want to do is plug in your uh, MP3 player in a USB port and then go to my computer and open it up and you'll get something that looks like this. This says untitled right here. Uh, it'll hopefully say like SanDisk MV3 player something like that. Anyway, you may have to experiment around to make sure you got the right one. Basically when you open it up you see a, a blank space for where the songs would be and since yours has never had any songs on it, I don't, at least I don't think so, you may have uh, just a few songs on it or not. No songs. So. So you have both those open and ready to uh, go to the next step, all right? Which is to um, make sure that you have the kind of audio file column in your iTunes. And if you don't, go to the View, and then go to um, View Options, and then. Uh, and again, it may look a little different uh, on a PC, and we'll have to do a little translation here because the program that does these screencasts doesn't work on a PC, so I'm having to do it on my Mac. But it's very, it, it's very, very similar, so I think this should work okay. Anyway, you'll see an option menu like this, and just make sure the kind is checked, and then OK, and you'll see the kind column that may be here, maybe over to the right, whatever. Click on the top of it and that will sort everything alphabetically and put all your uh, MP3 file movies, excuse me, songs together like this. So then click on a song. I'll just do one here to show you how it works with one. And then just drag it over to your the blank menu area here for your device. Let it go. And then it will appear there. All right. Um, now, if you want to do more than one song, a uh, very similar process. Basically, you select more than one song using the command key or shift, however you like to do that. Uh, not command, but in, in Windows, control key. Hold down control and then just go through and select several. Well, let's not do that one because we just brought that over. And just bring some over like this. Uh, and select some, I mean. And then, once they're selected, just uh, left click and drag them over and it says in Mac here, it shows you how many there are. I don't know if Windows does that or not. But anyway, the little plus sign indicates it's ready to go. Let go of, the, of your uh, left clicker and uh, the copying process will go, go on and you can see a little progress bar here which I think Windows does too. But it'll take a little bit because, you know, in this case we brought over six songs and that was uh, 38 megabytes worth of music. And then um, you'll hear some kind of a tone or something that obvious and indicate that they're all in your player. That should be it right there. Then you're done. Uh, when you um, close your player out, be sure that um, after you use the red X at the top right with Windows, that uh, you also go to the bottom right on your taskbar and um, left click the little symbol that talks about safely removing hardware. Click that and then highlight the drive that your MP3 player uh, has been given, the letter G or D or V or whatever it is. And then click on that and then left click on that and it'll take a minute and it'll say it's okay to remove it. You want to do that otherwise it, Windows gets bollocked up um, <clears throat> with devices going on and off. And so does Mac. Mac has a different process. It's called eject, but it's the same idea. All right. So um, I think that's it for um, this particular step. Bye-bye.